checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about a brand new project called Shuggy. Now, this is not a frog token. This is a dog token. Okay, guys, the meme coins or the dog memes are not dead, in my opinion. I do believe we're going to see some great things in the space. Shiba Inu, um, Floki just got listed on Binance. Okay, so, you know, I know everybody's banging on about Pepe. Pepe just got listed on Binance. I did a video about that earlier. But Floki was also listed on Binance, which I didn't mention, although it was clear in the, you know, in the snapshot that I took. But um, the dog tokens are here to stay. They're not going anywhere, guys. And we're going to talk about a new dog token called Shuggy Token, which recently launched on the Ethereum network. All right. And I've actually got the founder of Shuggy Token on the line with me now. So we're going to be able to ask a few questions, pick his brain a little bit, find out exactly what this project is about and introducing Jules. So Jules, welcome to the channel. Thank you, Liam. I, I, I really am thankful that you allowed me to speak about Shuggy on your YouTube. And as you as you know, <laughs> I've been a subscriber of your YouTube channel since 2020. So we've, uh, we've been interacting for a long time. Yeah, we've known each other for a long time. And that's one of the reasons why I chose to do an AMA with you because you know, most people watching the channel know I don't usually do AMAs, but, um, you know, I've known you for a long time. I know you're legit. We've been in a bit of a crazy crypto journey together as well, um, in and out of different tokens um, over the years. And um, you've gone ahead and created your own token. I didn't actually know that uh, this was your token until you told me, um, which I was a little bit annoyed. I thought, you know, uh, I would have liked to have known that you created a token because I, I do trust you and I, I think you're a good guy and you know but I think you know a sign of that is that you're just busy trying to make it make it happen right not not only that not only that it's my first project I don't <laughs> you know like it being it being my first project I wasn't sure what it was going to do man so I, I did I wanted to if it makes sense I wanted to reduce the impact of something going wrong uh to to a smaller circle <laughs> yeah but you know what i mean right? yeah yeah i know what you mean but I, I i always support my uh you know my group members and my subscribers and things like that if they reach out to me and say hey i've got a token i'll be happy to cover it and kind of give you a little platform do it ama or whatever it is well, you're they, right. yeah you're right and the upside is whatever happened when it launched it's a still it's still at a good price where it wouldn't have even mattered if you had known it launched. It's a the the floor that we have now is pretty strong, and anyone that left it, that wanted to leave it has already left. And my community is really solid, and they believe in the, the idea of the project, and um, and they believe in me. One thing I did want to mention, though, Liam, before we go any further, uh, I just wanted to say because uh, see that these things I never forget. I never forget when people put me on a on the right path. Um, I remember when I was your subscriber that. Um, you told me to download Telegram because I you, I wanted to communicate with you. I wanted to talk with you. Yeah. I had never used Telegram before, and uh, you were you were the reason why I got on Telegram. And I don't think I'd be here speaking to you if I hadn't actually downloaded Telegram because I was coming from the normie like buying Cardano, Zilliqa, and as you know that token on Bitmart. So yeah. I, I I you you basically you were the bridge to DeFi that I needed, and I wanted to thank you for that. That you that I got on Telegram and that that really like took me in a different direction. So thank it's, you. It's not a problem. Like I, I'm not a huge social media man, um, believe it or not. You know, I don't have Instagram. I don't have Facebook. I, you know, the only reason I mess about on social media is because it supports what I'm doing here on YouTube. I'm not socially active on social media at all outside of crypto, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, oh, and, and DeFi, I mean, those were the early days. I remember we were on, we were using the exchanges. We were, you know, we were trading various low cap tokens on Bitmart, for example. And um, yeah, it was, it was around that time. There was a coin that was going absolutely crazy that we ended up getting wrecked on, actually, um, on Bitmart. And uh, that's how we really got talking, wasn't it? Yes, yes, it was. And all those experiences that happened to us, we were, we're early adopters, right? That's like it. We, we, we are leading the charge uh, on things. Like uh, the experiences that we have 
are big. If you take a look, like I talked to so many new people, they're having the same experiences or they will have the same experiences we had years ago. So we're, we're kind of like the elders that need to kind of give people our advice, you know, like the things that we learned through painful experience. So, yeah, um, yeah, I mean, it, and we're still learning. We're, we're still honestly, we're still learning as well, aren't we? We're still learning. No, we are. You're right. It's, it's a badge of honor to get to get wrong. Like that. <laughs> because other people can see that and they're like, hey, I don't want that to happen to me. Exactly. <laughs> Let me pay attention. Let's see what I let's see what I shouldn't do. You know, and I do. I, there's there's so much that you can learn from something like that. But yeah, man, let's let's launch into Shuggy. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to talk about it. And thank you again for letting me, uh, letting me speak on it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, tell us about Shuggy. First of all, it's, it's an Ethereum network token. I've got the chart up on the screen for the viewers, right? Yeah. Um, it's sitting at about 132K in market cap. And when it first launched, it had a huge pump, okay? Had a huge pump. I'm doing a measured move around 6, about, what's that? 6,870%. So that's, what's that? Is that a 60... 60x 68x yeah um and i'm sure that there were other people that did even more than that because um when i when we launched the project there were uh, there was a community that i launched the project like i was i'm, I'm there right like uh, we we do a lot of uh, gem hunting flipping etc and uh, and they had asked me to launch a, a token because they needed they wanted to wanted to have a project where they knew who the dev was and i i volunteered and said hey i I mean, I've never launched one, my own project before, but let's see what we can do when, you know, if, if I'm behind the wheel. So, um, yeah, there were a lot of people that were there that got the contract uh, even earlier than that. So, I'm sure there were people that were sitting on maybe even 100x, if I'm being honest. So, um, it looks like a lot of those people managed to take some profits as well. I can see people have been, you know, making money off Shuggy. Liam. That's the story of my life, brother. I make <laughs> other people money. <laughs> I don't make money myself. But you know what? I don't mind it because my project probably wouldn't have gotten that far if it didn't have that initial support. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. Well, I got I got a good thing out of I honestly I got the better end of the deal because they got their money, which is cool. But I got a community from that and a community that like believes in 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 um in my honesty and my integrity because um, the way that I launched this was as fair as possible for the people that were in it, like from the early, earliest stages. I didn't, you know how, and this is a zero, zero tax token. So yeah, how it usually goes and let, uh, just when I'm speaking as plainly and as honestly as possible, how it usually goes for a zero, zero tax token. And maybe you can comment on this because it's something that I, I know and I, I observe all the time is the developer or developers or whoever's on the team. They load up on all their wallets first when they launch, and then they're the ones dumping on their community and on their and then everybody else at the top. I didn't do any of that, and none of the people that were on my team that helped me bring this to life were dumping on anybody. If anything, the people that I considered my core team, they held through the top, and they're still holding because I, these are connections and contacts that I've made just like you, Liam, that I've had for years. And these are people that I've like worked with on a, like a daily basis for years. And when they said that they were pledging to help me, you know, bring this project, I, I know what that means. It's, th these aren't just the words of a random person. So if anybody took profit, it was people that got the contract early and that's fine because I did it for them. I, I wouldn't have launched uh, Shuggy if there if people didn't say, hey, we want you to launch something for us or we were interested. You know, I, I actually wasn't interested in launching a project. What I wanted to do, and this is, it's really interesting, Liam, how this works. Um, a week before or weeks before I, I launched, I actually was telling people, uh, because I was just sick of all the, the rugging and the scamming going on. Because like, like, uh, we're, the, in the group we're in, we're constantly looking for the lowest caps, right? And the lowest caps are where it is the highest risk. And people were getting wrecked left and right, and they still do. I mean, uh, at, at the end of the day, uh, like if you're in that in that space where you're you're hunting like live pairs and fresh pairs, you're gonna get rugged more than hit 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 a gem. So they were there, but the amount of scams that were coming out recently was just it was it was nauseating, man. And that was another reason why I launched Shuggy because um, I've been in this space as an investor. And uh, as, a, as a community builder, I have a way with words. Um, I'm, I speak from the heart, you know, nothing is scripted. So um, 
I, I knew that if I put my, my finger, if I put my, my energy into a project, that it was going to be honest and that I wouldn't be in it for the money. I would be in it for like the experience of building a community and seeing how far we could take that. So okay. that, that's why people are gravitating towards me now. And that's why people haven't, the people that are still there, they haven't run away. So sugar is a meme coin, right? Why did you choose to go with a meme coin? Like, give me like the vision behind Shugi and where, you know, what, what is the vision going forward for Shugi well, Token? I don't, I don't know if you can pull this up, but I wrote a medium article. Uh, maybe you can look it up. It's called the power of memes and collective action in 2021. How Shiba Inu is going, Shiba Inu is going to change the world for millions of people. I wrote that in, on the 3rd of February of 2021. And the reason why I mention it is because that article, along with many other things that I did in the early days of Shiba Inu, I was committed heart and soul to making sure that I got as many people as I could into Shiba Inu because I knew, my intuition to, told me, I knew that Shiba Inu deep down inside was going to do something amazing. And I didn't, I couldn't fully explain it, but it was just something that, I don't know, I, I call it intuition, a, a gut, a, you know, something that you can't really explain logically or analytically, but I knew. So I put all my time and effort into getting as many people into Shiba Inu. And that was what started my journey in crypto as like a community builder, as somebody who inspires other people to believe in a vision before it actually happens. And I did, man. Uh, you wouldn't believe how many people from Shuggy and from other groups, when I launched um, uh, Shuggy, they said, I remember you. You were there when Shiba Inu was like really early. Like, and, and, and it's one of the reasons why they joined me with Shuggy because they remember that I was there. I was le the legit person pushing Shuggy when it was, when people were like, cause at, that, at the very beginning, I had like a huge pump and then it dumped. And then, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, you know, this is a scam. And, uh, you know, like it's the, the gas fees were high and people were just losing faith. And I was there pushing and pushing and pushing. So the reason why Shuggy came about was I wanted to launch a project that kind of came full circle to how everything started for me in, in, uh, on Ethereum, on Uniswap. Like this was the first project that I felt so passionately about. So what I thought about was, okay, what can I do that's Shiba Inu related? but also breaking new ground or doing something differently that doesn't exactly like, you know, be like a Shiba Inu clone. And then I looked at other communities and what they were doing. And I saw, uh, I was aware of, because of some of my friends that were telling me of a token called Sheena. And then Sheena was a token that was uh, someone had, like the, the, the group or the project said, you know, hey, we're Shiba Inu's girlfriend or his wife. And I was like, okay, that's really interesting. And then they did really good numbers too. They went to like, 40 million market cap, you know, and I saw that success and I was like, hmm, like this is actually like really innovative and it's like thinking outside the box, right? And they're creating like this, this narrative that doesn't exist. And then recently, like on, in January, February of this year, someone came out with a token called Sharbi and, that, and they were saying that that was uh, Shiba Inu's mistress. And that, that token did really well. It went to like 20 million market cap. So I took all these things together and I said, what can I do? to kind of do what they're doing. They're, they're breaking new ground, but I, I don't want to do necessarily like a wife or a girlfriend or whatever. And then I thought, okay, look, there's a, a bunch of new people that are going to be coming into crypto. Like I knew uh, before I launched Shuggy, I knew we're at the start of something. I can't really put my finger on it, but I know that eventually that we're going to get into really bullish, um, you know, like a crypto cycle. And I was like, what can I, what can we create to get new users interested in in, in like the Shiba Inu ecosystem, but not really like be Shiba. And then uh, my, my, my core team and I, we came up with the idea of having a Shuggy be like the teenage son between uh, Shiba Inu and Sheena, since that narrative already existed and kind of like make our own space in, in, uh, in, that, in that family tree. And we actually came up with a family tree where, um, you know, we have the father and the mother and then we've got Floki as a cousin and baby Doge as a cousin. And, uh, and we've got like other different other geneal genealogical off branches of that. So like we're playing around with stuff, you know, like we're trying to think outside the box. That's what, that's what, that's how Shuggy came about. Okay. Okay. So I know you did send me an article. I'm on the Twitter. I just pulled up uh, um, another article um, that you sent me. So I see you are very active on Medium, right, into the community keeping the community informed, engaging with the community. I think the, the engagement on Twitter is pretty good as well. Um, 
you know, if you are watching, guys, go and follow on Twitter. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, in terms of the actual, uh, you know, the actual uh, chart, the project, right? Um, you know, it looks like it, it, it could be, you know, trying to, trying to move, right? It looks like it's in a accumulation zone. I mean, it came up, it pumped, and uh, naturally it was going to dump. It was, gonna, you know, people are going to take profits, but, um, you know, what is, what is the plan going forward to, you know, to, to kind of help this chart out? Because obviously marketing is always going to be a big thing, you know, community, uh, marketing. When I, when I think of meme coins, I think that's the main thing, like marketing. So, um, you know, what are your plans moving forward for the project besides, you know, things like this, doing an AMA, this of course is marketing, right? But what are your plans moving forward for Shuggy? No, you're right. And it's a big question. That goes to the soul of who I am Liam and, um, this, you, you may or may not agree with this, and a lot of people have pushed uh, on me, you know, like, what kind of marketing do we have? Well, first of all, we're a zero, zero tax token, so I can't really do much for marketing. But these are the things that I have planned so that we do get more eyes on us. And again, since we're zero, zero, that means that we have to grow organically and that we can't really go all out on marketing packages and people to, like, you know, talk about us. So I have to, I have to be creative. So one of, one of the, I have to mention these, uh, these individuals because they, they've helped me get the word out about Shuggy for free because the, uh, if you've ever heard the term, your network is your net worth. Yeah. So people that I know in this space, they put me on um, in contact with uh, two gentlemen, one of which was the original dev of um, Elon Gate, and his name is Kid uh, with a one instead of an I. Um, and they have a show called The Kid and Walter Show. And uh, it's on every Sunday on Twitter Spaces, and they've allowed me to come up three times to talk about Shuggy, and um, you know I've become very close to them because I, I feel really magnetized to the way they are. They they speak from the heart also, and when they have people on their show, it's not because they're taking tokens or they're getting paid. It's because they want people to be able to talk about their project, like in, in a in like a, in, a, in a space where it's not being paid. You know, it's like hey, you have a project we're passionate that you're passionate about and we see you, you know, we've done our research to come talk about your project. So that's how, that's how I came into contact with them. And, uh, and we've grown, grown really close. So th those are the kinds of networking things that I, that I'm, um, that I'm doing. And, uh, later today, Liam, actually, um, at uh, 7 PM Eastern, I think it would be 11 PM UTC. I will be on the Twitter spaces with a gentleman from Twitter. His name is, uh, crypto Jesus. And he's, uh, his at is at verified Jeff. And um, he, he and I have been a lot going along in different projects, and he wants to talk about projects that um, are have devs that are, you know, they, they're honest and they're, they have integrity and in how I want to be talking about Shuggy and someone else is going to be talking about Formula Inu, uh, Finu, and, and they're going to be talking about, you know, the, the space as it exists right now. And, and the, the question that you're asking me is actually going to be a topic of conversation. Um, how do you grow your project without having to basically pay other people to talk about your project. And it's really key for me to say this because it is my, my personal stance and my philosophy. Most of the people that are into marketing and uh, the people that are proposing you, all they care about is how much you can pay them. And you never really know what the return on your investment is when you invest in them. Like they can promise you this and that, but you never know how much volume and actual like investors that you can bring. So at, like at the outset, I'm very skeptical that most marketing is going to work. The real marketing that works, it definitely does work. Like I've seen uh, projects like Pepe, for example. I know they had a great marketing team behind them. It works, but it costs a lot of money. So I'm not in a position to be able to dabble and kind of, uh, honestly, marketing is almost like gambling. You have to take a chance and see what works. And sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm, I'm all about, you know, growing my, the brand of Shuggy and growing my presence, my personal presence on Twitter and anywhere I can to talk about Shuggy and to let people know, hey, I'm the, the only reason why I launched this project wasn't to get rich and it wasn't to follow a meme or, or, or a trend. It was to launch something that people can say, hey, I can put my money here and I know that the dev isn't going to quit and isn't going to give up because I've been in this space since 2021 and I haven't taken any breaks and I know you have as well, Liam. Yeah. And uh, when I'm committed to something, I do not give up. Like I am, I am stubborn when it comes to quitting. Like if you tell me this is done, I will do everything in my power to prove to you that it's not done. So I love it. I love a challenge. I love being put against the corner and to prove people wrong. 
So with, with Shitty Man and as far as marketing, for me, it's going to be day in and day out. Stay in touch with my community, keep them updated about things that I'm working in the background, and create ways that are organic where I can talk about Shitty and let people know about it. So I don't know, I don't know exactly the details of that because I, I'm using my network to help me get the word out about Shuggy. But yeah, I'm, I'm relying on my community as well to be part of that, um, that effort. And I always tell my community and everyone else, your best marketing wallet is always, always, always going to be your community. You cannot compete with that because that word of mouth, that the, like, for example, I just had a gentleman yesterday, he was telling me he owns a business and he said, Hey, I have a landscaping business and I want to put a QR code so that when I'm driving around, people can, you know, snap that QR code and we can show them, you know, where they can go to buy crypto and then how to buy, buy Shuggy. And then he said, and I can even put your, um, you know, all that, all this information on my website. So yes, it, it's like the, the grassroots, <clears throat> like the, the, um, the community helping me to market this more than me just reaching out to somebody, you know, for a call. And the things that are within your control, like you've applied for coin market cap coin gecko you've applied for shibarium and things like that you know those those are things that you can do and you have done and um obviously that's going to get a lot more eyes on the project as well when it when they get those listings and things like that because you know we see it all the time right um when things get listed on coin market cap a lot of time you get a pump and we haven't actually had that pump yet from shuggy have we we've had we had the initial listing pump but, um, you know, those pumps are potentially coming, right? <laughs> you know, more marketing. Yeah, and, and also, I wanted to let you know, I wanted to let you know that if we don't get listed on coin market cap within a week, I'm working on something, a possible avenue to make sure that we do get listed. And I don't want to go into it, but yeah, I, I'm working on getting us listed on CMC. And um, like I said, my, my contacts are helping me out. And also, I wanted to mention, you know, uh, at the time of this recording, uh, gas fees are have gone astro astronomical. Crazy, on, yeah, it's on crazy period. right now. Yes. Yeah, and, and and I'm thinking, and I, I know that a lot of people are thinking for sure. Um, I do want to bridge to Arbitrum so that we can reduce gas fees, and then people don't feel like you know if they want a dollar cost average or if it's a new if it's a new buyer, you know, when you're bridged, you, your tokens are the same as they are on Ethereum if you buy them on Arbitrum. So I'm considering. Um, in the very near future, either next week or you know a little bit later, to start uh, to start that process of bridging on Arbitrum, so that Shuggy can be bought on on a place where you don't have to pay eighty dollars in gas fees to buy. Yeah, I think <coughs> that's always a downside on Ethereum is you know gas fees, of course, and you know it's things like Pepe right now. You know everyone's going mad for Pepe, and you know this hype that's coming into the market, it's really raising the prices of the gas fees. You know. I mean, gas should come down now over the weekend, um, in theory, but um, you know it, it may not. You know, with the hype that that we're seeing in the market right now, but um, I don't ever let gas stop me from. If I like a token, I don't ever let gas stop me from getting into it. However, if you're getting in with very small amounts of money, obviously it's got to make sense. If you're going in with a large amount, then you know sometimes you don't mind paying the gas fee. You know, but um, yeah, if I mean going onto Arbitrum could be a good thing for the project. And, um, you know, I guess, you know, you know what's best for your project. Um, but, yeah, I mean, really, I mean, I, I think the website looks pretty good. The Reddit looks good as well. Um, you know, I think you've got it all together when it comes to the digital side of, um, you know, because I think, you know, what it looks like is the, the, the appearance is always going to be the first thing that catches someone's eye. A lot of people judge a project by the exactly. website. And when I saw the website, I thought, ah, oh, this looks pretty decent. You know, the logo looks similar to Shiba Inu as well. And um, yeah, I think the branding is there, you know, it's just, it's just the marketing. And, um, you know, I think like th th this really has a it it really has a place in the market right now, in my opinion, you know. And I think this is the best time to be marketing it, rather than just pushing all the all the marketing in when, you know, the price is uh, the price is going up on the initial launch pump. A lot of people, a lot of professional markets, they like to wait until the price comes down and settles. And now we can begin to see that organic growth. You've already got people that are holding the token, people that are supporting the project, and you know anything from here is probably a it's it's a, it's a smoother road to the moon i would say 
I appreciate it. And like you said, with the Reddit and the website, I have to give credit where it's due. It's not, it's not me. I have a uh, shout out to Jorge. He, uh, he's been a graphic designer since the 90s. And he's been a close friend of mine. And he does websites all the time. And um, the, I mean, he, that's why the website looks good. He has experience, decades experience worth of uh, designing websites. And he did all of this for free, man. Like I told you, the contacts that I've had, they trust me and they want to help me because they know that I've been in this space. I've only I've only done good for people in this space, and that that reputation carries itself along the time. And for the Reddit, I just wanted to shout out someone specifically. His name is Yoshi, and he's actually um, someone who is a ship OG like me. He was there pushing ship in 2021 as well, and um, and he has he's he's in those uh, inner circles of Shiba Inu. Um, you know, he's followed by Shaitoshi Kusama and. He has um, he has like a tags on the, the Discord. He's a Shib OG and he's a Shiberium citizen. So if we ever do get on Shiberium, he can speak on behalf of Shugi, um, you know, like uh, talking about the project and presenting it because he has that title on Discord. And he was behind the Reddit because he understands how important Reddit is, and uh, and he's organized it. These are see the thing is is that in order for a project like this to to be successful it can't just go it just can't all fall on the developer or the leader to do this you need a community it's a community to effort the yeah I'm yeah fortunate. i'm fortunate to have those individuals around me and they won't give up either you know they, they still care about Shugi. we are we all are still very much you know like for Shugi, like where none of us have given up yet you know so even though this pepe um you know phenomenon and everything that's followed after it even though it took a lot of attention away from the dog tokens, it that hasn't diminished our resolve. You know, we understand just like you. We understand that things have a way of like um, uh, getting a lot of FOMO and a lot of attraction for a certain amount of days, weeks, even months. But eventually, things kind of circle around to all, all the other types of tokens and ecosystems. And we know that our time is coming. And the community also understands that too, which is really important because I don't have to constantly remind them that hey our time is coming they're the ones saying it they're the ones that are still holding and that's why our floor is holding really strong right now they understand that it's only a matter of time so yeah i'm, I'm very fortunate to have the community that i have and um, i do everything in my power to make sure that i keep their confidence and their trust so i'm always there communicating with them they're they are really like my family Liam. like i feel like i feel we have that bond and that kinship so i there's no way that i could give up or let them down you know and i, and I do i do try to walk the straight and narrow path and show them, you know, like full, full transparency, everything that I'm thinking, all the things that are going on, I let them know. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I mean, um, I'm going to leave the links in the description for the community, the Twitter, Telegram, website, everything that you guys need. If you want to come and join the community and find out more, this is where everything is going down. Uh, before we end the AMA, you know, is there anything to look forward to in the immediate term for Shugi, you know, why should people buy Shugi right now? Yeah, so just to reiterate what I told you, Liam, um, thank you so much for, for letting me speak with you, man. Like, you're, you're, for me, you're a legend and you're an OG. So I have a lot of high respect for everything that you do on YouTube and everything, and I'm a, I'm a huge supporter of you, man. You're, you're one of those people that grinds. And um, I'm just going to reiterate what I said last time, Liam. Um, I'm like you, bro. We've been in the space for many years, and we understand the kind of commitment and time that it takes to make something successful. There's no such thing as an overnight success in crypto, and there are actually, but they, those are the exceptions. The the rule, the majority of people that launch a crypto project, if they want to make it successful, they have to have the time commitment, the energy, and the passion to be able to see it through. And that's even a more uphill battle for me because I'm not getting paid anything in this token as far as the marketing wallet so my passion has to come from a really genuine place and that is the only place that i can see myself continuing to push uh uh Shugi is because i truly believe and love in what i built and then i truly believe and love in everyone that's supporting me it, it that is the only like so for what's coming down the line it's more of the same me leveraging my contacts and my community doing the efforts that they're doing to continue pushing Shuggy wherever it is. And we're building, we're just, we're not only are we holding, but we're building a future where the community that is holding now are part of that solid, you know, those top holders. When the, when the volume comes back into Doc Tokens, I know that they're going to be holding because they held through, this was a test. 
they held through the toughest times when things were, you know, mooning left and right that had nothing to do with to dark tokens. They held their tokens and they still showed up every day to Telegram. And that's going to be part of the narrative when we get, when we start getting more traction, when people start realizing, okay, maybe this is dog season again, we will be not only we, will we be very active, but we'll, for, I, I mean, this is my hope, is we're going to be on Arbitrum and Shiverium. And if gas fees are really high, they will see that we're a vibrant community and that they can buy cheaper on other L2s. And that, and I'm, I'm, I mean, this is, the vision that I built was to have Shuggy token, you know, as the teenage son of Shiba Inu, to have that so that people can understand what we did with Shiba Inu, like me and everybody else that believed in it. What we did with Shiba Inu can be reproduced again and again, but you gotta have those fundamental ingredients to make it happen. And I, that's, that's everything that I'm doing today. I'm community building, I'm networking. That's exactly what I did with Shiba Inu. I community built and I networked with so many people not only helping them to learn how to buy it, but also trying to explain to them why Shiba Inu was going to do well. And it's the same thing with Shuggy, that the reason why Shuggy is going to do well is because you've got somebody who's passionate about the project, but you have the community believing in this and not giving up. And with Shiba Inu, there were a lot of people that gave up. And guess what? Like just months later, if they would have held, that would have been life-changing money and they and they got they're in regret. So. All these experiences that I've had in my in my past, I pass on to my community, and I, that is what's going to shine in the future. Is that we're we're an experienced community, and you have an experienced leader leading it, and that with with all that combined, whenever it is that we start getting traction again, we're ready. Like I'm ready to go right now, but nothing happens overnight. So I'm just building brick by brick the house that's going to be the house that we all live in. Hey, well, Jules, thanks for coming on, man. I, I see your passion for the project, which is why, you know, I wanted to do this AMA for you and, um, you know, help spread the word on Shuggy. We're going to end the AMA right there. So, guys, all the links are going to be in the description. Shuggy token, jump in the Telegram. You can buy it on Uniswap. I know the gas fees are high, but, um, you know, you guys can make up your mind on that. And again, this is the chart. It's looking pretty bullish in my opinion. Liquidity is low. It's going to be super volatile. It is risky, just like any other token. So don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. However, we know or I know personally and vouch for that the developer is a legit guy. He's passionate about the project. And this is no rug pull or anything like that. You know, and I believe that, you know, if his, if he, if his passion continues the way it is, we're going to see this turn into a super successful project. So again, links are in the description. But that is the end of the video. A lot of you are not subscribed. So do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. And like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm, guys. Um, again, all the links are in the description. And I will see you in the very next video.